in the beginning stages of um, getting my piece ready. I've done the back part the very first time I haven't done the bottom part yet, but I'm just starting to do the back in the white. And then I am starting to do a taupey gray color over the entire finish. As you can see, I'm just barely starting. I'm maybe even working on it 10 minutes. It is five o'clock in the afternoon and I will take note of the time when I finish this piece to show how quickly a piece can be done. First coat on of this uh, grayish taupe color. Um, I again haven't gotten the back side of that green yet, but we're gonna get to that. So I've got one coat on the sides and it is a little after five. It is, I don't know, 5.12, 5.13, something like that. It is 5.35 and I've just finished giving the base to the hutch, its first coat of the taupe, leaving the drawers black because I'm going to give them a coat of cream later, as well as painting right over the existing hardware. Um, and then I'm going to distress and age the entire thing, and I will keep you posted on how I do that. So now I'm just going to give it an age technique. I am putting a darker version of this paint color over itself, and I'm just putting it on very haphazardly with no real rhyme or reason to it. And then I'm just wiping it off to give it an aged look, leaving behind what looks like years and years of paint. Just taking um, some cream chalk paint and I am drying it nearly completely off onto a paper towel. And I'm gonna do a technique which is known as dry brushing. So I'm getting almost all the paint off of it and then I'm just lightly going over and leaving a little bit of the paint behind. So not a whole lot, but just a little to give it a little more, just one more layer of interest to add even a little more age. And again, this technique is known as dry brushing. <coughs> 